you've got a proposed education overhaul uh, with House Concurrent Resolution 3046. You basically want to get rid of the Board of Higher Education and create your own uh, Department of Education here in the state. Is that semi-close? Well, what it does do is it takes everything from K-12 to and puts it under a Department of Education. And we've done, there are other states that are doing the same thing. And there would be a commissioner of education appointed by the governor. It'd be a cabinet level position. And they, and there would be an advisory board to that K through 16. Uh, we need to make sure those that in the future, we do a better job of melding those two together, that our kids are ready to go forward into the higher education system. And actually we're training them for jobs that are available in our state. And that, that advisory commission to the, to the uh, commissioner of education will take the place of the Board of Higher Ed, but it also takes away all the bureaucracy. And sure, there'll still be some bureaucracy left. You're still going to have a lot of the same laws that we deal with on K-12. We're going to have the way we run our institutions of higher education. Obviously, I expect the great opposition from the educational community. They're not going to like this one bit to Why? change it because they think the system's perfect. How can they? Well, we just came off of three bienniums of the lieutenant governor, who is now the governor, leading a commission on education improvement where he had superintendents and teachers and citizens and legislators looking at how we can make education better in North Dakota, K through 12. Now he wants to have a commission set up for the, uh, to deal with higher education funding. Well, somehow, if you're having all these commissions, something's not quite right. So uh, I don't expect any support from the educational community. I, uh, Superintendent Sandstead will not be elected anymore if this passes. And this goes on the ballot. If it passes the House and the Senate, it goes on the 2012 ballot. It's very specific uh, as to what it does in the creation of that. Um, it, it talks about that we're not taking any laws away, any money away from anybody. What we're doing is trying to create a model for the next 20 years and for the past, instead of for the past 20 years. Will it be controversial? Absolutely. I'm sure the forum will love me again. <laughs> you say that as he <laughs> sort of yep. puffs up his jet. Yeah. Yeah.